Hi, I'm Raya Layla Koch, and I'm the editor in chief of the Daily Barometer. Hi, my name is Alan Wynn. I'm the creative lead at Orange Media Network, and I am also the designer of the paper. <laughs> this is the May print issue, and our cover story is for Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and then where to expected a history of 50 years of AROTC and women's involvement in that. So we kind of start by putting together as many stories as we think are kind of relevant to the month. We just kind of sit down and look at what's most relevant, what are people going to care about most during this time, and what do they need to know about the most. Riley will come to me and Ashton, who is our photo lead, and we sit down and we kind of come up with ideas on how we want to um, tell them visually. So for example, with this Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month big cover story, we wanted to do something different that we've never done before. In terms of this cover, I was super happy with the illustration that we got from Alex. The APCC here illustrated in a really bright kind of 70s style neon illustration by Alex uh, Kocha. Then we decided to take some photos from previous archive stuff here at OSU including the yearbook. I was just walking one day down the hallway and I realized that we have the actual yearbooks that these pictures are taken from in our office. And I literally opened the book, took the picture, did the cutouts and put them in the spread. And it really is just amazing that we can use old content and make it new. In January, we made the change to a broadsheet as compared to what we had before that, which was just kind of half. We're able to kind of incorporate a lot more content and a lot more design, um, especially in this issue, like our drag story on page nine. I think that was like another really good example of things that we were able to do with the broadsheet. And we've definitely been able to incorporate more stories into the print issue overall, just within this format and giving us a little bit more time to kind of do more editing and do a little bit more time on the writing and to give our writers more time. So that way the process is just smoother and we get to create better content for everyone who reads us. Here's the paper, it then comes out like this, and you come up from the top and read out this way. Just keep reading it like a book until you get to the back when you see our beautiful puzzles. And then you'll see at the very top of the campus section or even the front page, we have these section headers that feature some of the stories that will be in that section. Um, and then when you go to that sports page, every single sports page that I've worked on this year in terms of when we moved to Broadsheet has been very distinct and very different. So I would say that's basically like our second front page or maybe even a feature page, basically. I'm really, really proud of our columns in this issue, actually. Um, we have amazing columns, one of them by Alan, um, but I think these are the strongest opinion pieces we've seen and their spreads are beautiful um, They're kind of scattered throughout the paper this time Which was nice to kind of keep things a little bit more focused on whatever section they're pertaining to So like we have a column and opinion piece in the campus section because it's talking about campus issues um, So I think those stories I'm especially proud of this issue. I wrote my first ever column called The Culture Corner. I know I was like pestering Riley and Beaver's Digest, Beaver Digest Chief, Editor-in-Chief Soup Jot like for like a good week about, how do I write this? How do I write this? So it was super fun. They gave me a lot of confidence in writing that column. And it's a really long column. I always joke about with them that like, your guys' stories are too long, I can't design with them. And then I come in and I write this really <laughs> long story that you that is just like spanning the whole page. So it was really fun to learn how to write that kind of stuff. And I'm excited to write another column for them um, in next print or maybe just on Line, but um, that was just a really big piece of the puzzle for this specific issue for me. We've kind of worked throughout the whole year on showing people um, as we're kind of talking about maybe stories from the past or stories um, that are a little bit more conceptual. We've kind of struggled with that, but I think this issue really shows how far we've been able to grow and be able to show um, really people-centered at the heart of every story. You can find us at dailybarometer.com and see all of our online content as well as our print content under the print tab. And if you wanted to pick up a paper copy yourself on stands all throughout campus. And you can stay up to date on all of our new content on our Instagram, The Daily Barrow.